From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. And what a great series. And again, all the way through the end of the week, right? Each night at 10 o'clock? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we having Patty on the show anytime soon? Are we having her on the show? Well, she's getting a lot of airtime this week, and then I'm sure we'll bring her back after they win the title. Carl, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Patty. <laughs> trying to bring her on the set. Okay, here we go. Hey, talking about, let's go back to this morning, right? Now, no high water rescues, but still the water was high enough, right? It was going over the road. A lot of folks driving through. We had some stalled vehicles uh, like this guy here. We've shown him all day today. Watch the car. Hang on. I got to get this on my car, right? Here you go. You just push a button. You just push it. Do a little pop up. Here we go. All right, let's just keep moving. All right, everybody out of my way. I'm coming through hot and fast. Let's do this. Anyway, <laughs> I love it. I love it. And he does, I know, he's got to be pushed out. But the fact that he's able to, I know, it's great stuff. It's air shocks, it's, anyway, it's good stuff. All right, let's go back to how fast the uh, rain amounts for the month escalated, right? Now, we were doing okay, but over the last couple of days, we've gone from below average to 6.77 inches of rain for the month of May in Oklahoma City. So we're well above our average of 5.31, and May is our wettest month of the year. So the last two days, rain totals, five inches in Edmond, 2.73 in Jones, nearly four and a half in Guthrie, 3.45 in Piedmont, 4.74 in El Reno, and a two and a quarter over in Shawnee. The heaviest rain really fell from northern, central, southern, and uh, north, northeastern Oklahoma. Hey, out west, one to two inches of rain here. This is where the drought is strong, back into the panhandle. This did not end the drought in the west. You put a dent in it, you didn't end it, but you put a nice dent in it Either way, we'll take it, okay? So more rain coming up later tonight and tomorrow. Rain now, eastern, southern Oklahoma. This will hang down here for a while tonight, and then by late tonight, this rain is going to develop and lift back to the north. Right now, we're dry in Oklahoma City. We have rain in Prague, Seminole, Holdenville. This is mainly light to a little bit of moderate rain. Southern Oklahoma, light rain from Marlowe and Duncan to Ardmore, and then also back towards Frederick and Vernon, Texas. But what's going to happen is this is going to begin to lift and develop to the north as the night moves along and into tomorrow morning. 60 degrees in Oklahoma City. The wind is calm. We're saturated. You might have a little fog around in the morning, okay? So keep that in mind. Cool front just down to the West Metro. Behind it, it's a northwest breeze. Behind it, 60s, 50s. Out ahead of it, more 60s. It's a slow mover. That equals more rain, and the upper storm itself is right back in here, and it's going to take till Thursday to move by Oklahoma. Okay, so here we go. Now, overnight tonight, watch what happens here. Look at 6 o'clock in the morning. Look at that. Look at future next year live. Yeah, rain, northern, central, southwestern, southern Oklahoma. This will lift north, and look at the pinwheel. Look at the spin going on as the rain comes back into Oklahoma City. We might get a break mid-afternoon, early afternoon, and then back into the evening, more rain comes in. Oh, yeah, I want to point out it's going to be windy tomorrow with temperatures only in the 50s. So we're going to have a wind chill tomorrow with north winds at 30 miles per hour. How much more additional rain? Half an inch, some areas locally an inch. So I don't expect any more major flooding issues. What about the rest of Oklahoma, at least for the metro? Could see some flooding problems, at least on a local area in southern and southeastern Oklahoma uh, late tonight into tomorrow morning. But for the most part, these rain amounts are going to be just enough more to help us, but not really give us any major flooding issues. Okay, overnight tonight, through tomorrow morning, chance of rain ramps up 100% chance, okay? Lows tonight, 40s, 50s, 60s in the southeast. Cold front keeps sliding south and east. Now look at tomorrow. Highs in the 50s, northwest winds 20 to 30, gusty. It'll feel like the upper 40s and low 50s tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, central, northern, western Oklahoma, there's your rain. Tomorrow night and Thursday morning, light rain and drizzle continue. We'll dry it out on Thursday, but some clouds hanging around, a high of 67. There's your sun Friday. Look at your Memorial Day weekend. Here we go. Highs in the 80s, close to 90 by Sunday, and the wind will return. Here we go. Carl, back to you.